Since 1954, the Greylock clamp connector has been a trusted solution across industries thanks to its leak-free performance and compact size. Its metal-to-metal -metal bore sealing technology is engineered for both easy maintenance and ultimate performance. Unlike traditional flanges, the Greylock clamp connector has a compact and lightweight design that consists of five components, a hub, a seal ring, a clamp set, and four studs with spherical face nuts. Greylock hubs may be fabricated to piping or other component equipment using established welding procedures. ANSI fit-up and alignment tolerances used for flange fabrication are acceptable for Greylock hubs. Ensure hub faces are protected from damage, such as scratching and weld spatter. When required, stress relieving of carbon and low alloy steel hubs should be completed in compliance with applicable industry codes and requirements. Ensure hub surfaces are clean prior to being placed in furnace. Prior to assembly, the hub sealing surfaces and seal ring are inspected and cleaned to prevent potential damage and ensure their leak-free performance. Clean all lubricants and debris from the hub sealing surfaces. Use non-abrasive material to clean the seal ring. The seal ring is typically supplied with coating that acts as a lubricant. Verify the seal ring coating is in good condition. Visually inspect the hub seats and seal ring. Confirm that no burrs, scratches, or other damage are present. The seal rings are reusable. Perform rock tests to verify it is suitable for use. If the seal ring does not rock, it must be replaced. In the assembly phase, proper alignment and lubrication of the hubs, seal ring, and clamps are required for establishing a secure, leak-free connection. When handling Greylock clamp connectors, ensure that the appropriate personal protective equipment is used. Separate hubs and carefully insert seal ring. Align hubs and bring them back together. There will be a small gap between the hub faces and seal ring rib. Apply lubrication to highlighted areas. Any site-approved bolting lubricant, such as nickel anti-seize, is acceptable. There are no bolt holes to align, therefore the clamps can be oriented at any angle. Where possible and practical, it is best to arrange the clamps such that the gap between clamp halves are facing away from the operator. Typically, this is upward and downward. Install clamp and bolting. Only use gray lock studs and nuts. Ensure the nut's spherical radius contacts the clamp. This table shows the average recommended torque values. For extreme misalignment or extreme piping loads, torque values 1.5 to 2 times the table values are recommended. Do not exceed two times the recommended torque values as this may cause damage to the connector's components. Following the initial assembly, the four studs must be torqued to engage the seal. Use a calibrated torque wrench to torque the bolting to the recommended values. Tighten the studs in a crisscross pattern. Keep the spacing between the clamp halves approximately equal.
repeat process until bolt torque does not change after striking the clamps. When properly assembled, there is no gap between the hub faces and seal ring rib. The connector assembly can be safely removed from the equipment by following the disassembly process, crafted to prevent accidents and minimize potential damage. Vent the line and verify all pressure has been removed prior to disassembly. Important, loosen the nuts, but do not remove them. If needed, strike the clamps with a soft hammer to disengage from the hubs. Trapped pressure, if any, will be safely released. The clamps and bolting can now be safely removed. As the seal ring is reusable, ensure that it is not damaged when separating the hubs. Following disassembly, the hub seal surfaces are inspected and, if needed, polished during the maintenance process to ensure the connector's leak-free performance after reassembly. Greylock clamp connectors do not require special maintenance. After disassembly, visually inspect the hub seats for uniformity, burrs, and scratches. Remove scale, rust, burrs, or scratches from hub seal surfaces by lightly polishing the seat with fine steel wool, crocus, or emery cloth. Important polish in a smooth circular motion to ensure uniform blending. Never lap the hub seal surfaces with a seal ring. This will damage the connector. More severe damage may require field machining. Contact Greylock for more information.